I'm Alfie Cohn. I work and live in the Boston area writing books and articles and giving lectures and workshops and generally doing the kind of stuff that I love and would do on the weekends if I had to have a regular job. Um, this embraces a great many topics, whatever I feel is important and interesting. I have the extreme luxury of being able to explore ideas that make me angry or excited or curious without having to um, pay the bills in a more traditional way by paying my dues. And I began some years ago with a topic that appealed to me, uh, which had to do with the destructiveness of competition. I'm always intrigued when I see research and solid logic uh, pushing in one direction and common practice or assumptions heading in a different direction. And I, I'm trying to invite others to close the gap to reconsider their own practices and premises. So I discovered some years ago uh, a huge cache of evidence showing that competing at work, at school, at home, um, in any arrangement where I can succeed only if you fail, um, actually undermines the very things we're trying to promote. It turns out to be counterproductive in terms of how we feel about ourselves, about others, um, about the stuff we're doing, and the quality of what we're doing. And so that was my first book, um, No Contest, The Case Against Competition. And then that in turn branched off into other topics. So for example, one important um, way to help people experience an alternative to competition is to cooperate in school. And I learned an enormous amount after publishing a book. That's a great way to research a subject I found early, is to publish a book on the topic so people are willing to tell you what you should have had in that book. And I learned a great deal about cooperative learning, where kids learn with and from one another in pairs or small groups as a default arrangement, which in turn led me to explore other questions about why, for example, it doesn't make sense to grade kids or use other rewards or punishments as extrinsic motivators, um, which turned out to be one of the reasons that competition is so counterproductive is because of its status as an extrinsic motivator. Um, they're not doing it because they're interested in the art or science or whatever they're up to, but as a means to an end to win a competition even when there is no contest involved, other rewards proved destructive as well. I began to explore that and wrote a book on that topic. Competition, similarly, is often justified because it's just part of human nature, um, a, a belief that I tried to debunk in that first book. But that led me to another exploration and another book to ask what is part of human nature and why is it that we assume only the negative stuff is at the core of who we are? A book called The Brighter Side of Human Nature led me to explore altruism and empathy. And since then, I've been exploring one topic after another, mostly having to do with education, but some having to do with parenting, how we raise kids, not just teach them, and uh, human behavior more generally. And so I've explored ideas um, having to do with helping kids to become deep thinkers as opposed to mere memorizers of facts and practicers of skills. What it means to give kids more say about their lives um, and about their own learning in school. I invited teachers to think about collaboration rather than having kids do stuff on their own, to challenge the use of tests, grades, and homework, and so on. I think one of the themes that binds together all these various topics for me is um, trying to ask the radical questions, not merely to ask, for example, how much homework kids should get, but why it's necessary for kids to work a second shift when they get home from a full day in school at all, especially when research doesn't tend to support its value. Not to ask whether we should use some new cute standards-based form of grading, but ask why we have to reduce students to letters or numbers when there are much better ways, more authentic forms of assessment, and so on. With my work for parents as well, 
the question tends to be about asking not how we can get kids to do what we want them to do, but to ask a question like, what do kids need and how do we help meet those needs? So what I try to do for a living is to invite folks to push beyond the way the discussion has been framed in order to ask about the underlying premises and do what's best for kids at home and at school.